Hi, and welcome to Furry Face Finance, the show where we help young adults get a vision of what their future financial security could be. I'm JR. And I'm Michael. In our first episode, we discussed the importance of paying yourself first. And we're going to drop a note there in the show notes, uh, so that way you can go back and watch that. Feel free to pause this episode and jump back in another tab to watch that first one, as they are foundational bullocks that we're trying to teach, so that way you can kind of stay in line with us. But for today, uh, we're going to talk about how to invest that amount that you've put back for yourself. That's either the 10% or less or more, depending on your situation. Yeah. Um, last week, we talked about putting away the 10%, basically like in a savings account. And now we're talking about how to grow that 10%. And that is the beauty of, of you know what you guys are doing this early in your life. That is the beauty of it because the power of compounding interest is amazing. Uh, my dad was a health teacher and he had this, he would have this financial planner come in and give, uh, give a little talk on financial health. During that talk, the, uh, the planner would s suggest two scenarios. One, you put away $200 a month for, from when you're 18 until you're 25, and then you just stop and don't put any more money into it and leave it alone in an account that bears 10% interest. Or two, you use that same account that bears 10% interest and start investing when you're 25 and keep going all the way till you're 65. And he, he would ask, in which situation are you going to have more money when you're 65 years old? And it, it amazes most people to know that the power of compounding interest means that if you invest that from 18 to 25 and then never put another penny in it, you're going to have $1.6 million, whereas if you wait until you're 25 years old and start investing and invest until you're 65, you'll only have $1.3 million. Both are, are, you know, in both situations, you have a chunk of money, but it shows the power of compounding interest. What you're doing right now is so, so important. Getting started early is a, it, it's great, and you're going to be so glad you did. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to invest that that money that you've been rolling into savings. Uh, Michael, we've 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 looked into a few different investment opportunities, and we're of course not financial advisors. We're not certified in anything. This is just kind of some thoughts for you guys to to mull over and decide uh, how you how you might proceed with that money that you've been dumping in savings. But most of them, you have to have a chunk of change to start with. Um, and so that's why initially you're just going to dump that into a savings account while you kind of do your research and find where you want to invest. And we uh, one of the investment tools that we really like, and again, they're not sponsoring us or anything, but we like Acorns a lot because it's, it's very simple to use. It's simple to understand. And uh, so you're not like swimming in all this investment jargon. Um, but it teaches all the little pieces of investment. And M Michael, you've actually used the Acorn app far more than I have. So why don't you tell us your experience? Yeah, so I did start it out. I was uh, doing a little side hustle um, and made a little extra money. It was uh, like $15, pretty minimal amount. But all you have to have is $5 to get started, which I thought was amazing because, you know, you want to get started. You want to learn the fundamentals with a smaller amount. That's the perfect way to go, in my opinion. $5. Granted, keep in mind, there is a $1 a month maintenance fee for their basic tier program. They have, I believe there's three tiers involved, but that is your basic level. Now, the cool thing is, if you're a college student and you have a .edu email address and you input that, they actually waive that. I believe it's for the first four years. So, I mean, at that point, you're saving, what is that, $12 on top of four, so that's $48 right there that could be potentially in your investment, still growing and helping get a return on. So I think that's huge. Now, I do not have an EDU address, so I had the fee coming up. Now, I did notice to me, but based on what I input, it was very conservative. So I only had got about a penny of return on my $15 investment by about the three and a half month mark, and I was like, well, a dollar and if I'm not making that much, so then I personally decided to pull out because I didn't have enough money at the time to keep investing. Whereas if you guys take it and roll in to like JR saying and just continue to invest time after time, that is going to help you. And then you're going to get a bigger return on your investment 
So that way you don't have to worry about that fee. But as the old saying goes, you've got to spend money to make money. And in this case, this could definitely help you make some money and get started with that. Um, now, some other ones that JR actually has brought to my attention was Robinhood and E-Trade. So, JR, you want to talk about those a little bit? Uh, well, Robinhood is going to be more hands-on. It's going to be more um, – you're going to be investing in stocks yourself. E-Trade also, you're investing in stocks yourself. Um, with with the Acorns app, you're basically uh, – putting your money in there and they do the investment in what they think is going to grow. Um, you basically don't have a lot of control with, with uh, acorns that you would have control with, with these others. Um, so, but like your acorns app, you can choose whether you want to have a conservative approach or an aggressive approach. And the, the nice thing about acorns for starter investors that I, that I love is how even at the at the aggressive level, it's still a very conservative. So you won't like lose a lot of money. But the, you, like you say, the fees are are something that that you're going to have to calculate in whether or not your return on what you're investing is covering those fees is important. And that's not just important for Acorns. It's important for E Trade. E Trade's going to have fees. Uh, Robin Hood's going to have fees. When you get farther down in the investing game and have the money manager that's recommending mutual funds and index funds and all blah, blah, blah. You're all, all of those are going to have fees because someone manages them and someone has to get paid to do that management. Um, so if you, Acorns will try to pitch you on the, on the concept of that they're rounding up every purchase you make and then taking a little bit of change and investing it. If you're just doing that, you're not going to probably cover the the um, the dollar. But if you're doing what we mentioned in the last episode, and again, you can get that in the show notes, if you're doing what we mentioned in the last episode and putting aside 10%. Well, if, if you're earning $10 an hour at a at a part time job that that gets you 20 hours a week, you're talking $200 a week, um, $800 a month. You're putting $80 into your a Acorns. And um, and then then you'll see some some returns. Uh, some of the, the people I've read about have gotten anywhere from from four to seven percent. So we're not quite yet to that that 10 percent that we talked about early in the show, where if you and start investing when you're 18 and keep investing till you're 25 in an account that bears 10 percent interest. You, we're, we're not quite there with acorns, but. You can get close, and more importantly, you can learn some of the principles behind investing because uh, it, whether whether you're investing with Acorns or you're investing in some large mutual fund or you have money rolling into your 401k, it's all going to have kind of work the same way. So it, it, it kind of eases you into the investment game, helps you kind of wrap your head around how the whole process works. So that when you get more involved in it, if you choose to get more involved in it, uh, you can. Um, now you don't have to get more involved in it. You can. I mean, you there are a lot of opportunities you have to just set it and forget it. Uh, and certainly, uh, we we probably should mention that if you have a 401k opportunity at your job, you know, <laughs> some of you are are not. Uh, are not going to college. Some of you have opted for the employment route right out of high school, and that's great. I think that's fantastic. You don't necessarily need a college education for everything that you, that you want to do. Um, but if you're doing that, you probably have a 401k, and you would probably be better to invest in your 401k. Not probably. You would be do better to invest in your 401k than to invest in acorns. But both of them will teach you a little bit about investing. Especially, uh, to kind of add on to that, especially because my previous employer that I started with straight out of high school did a match. So everything I put in, they would match it. So, I mean, that right there in itself. So I believe it was up to 6% that I put in that they would match up to. So, I mean, honestly, if you're putting 10%, they're adding 6, 16% right there. That's 6% 6 of free money that's going into your retirement, and then that's building that compounding interest, guys. Very important. It's, it's a good stepping stone to start. In the long run, now talking about the investment a little bit, 
uh, as me and JR were talking about, uh, but in the pre-show is Warren Buffett is huge on buying stocks that you want to hold on to. So he's not about this day trading of switching stocks around and trying to make a quick buck. He's in it for the long haul. And as you know, if you look at his profile, I mean, you can tell he's got a secret sauce there somewhere <laughs> because the man is loaded. Yeah, yeah. He he hates uh, he hates risk and he won't risk his money. <laughs> so he doesn't do, do much with his money that he he doesn't really have a firm grasp on. And and like you say, his his strategy is just a, a buy it. And he, what is it? What is it? He says, um, my best investment strategy is hold forever or something like that. Uh, but, you know, that's 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 why getting started this early in, in your life is so important because you can do that. You know, uh, yeah. if you wait until you're 50 to try and start investing because, you know, you blew your money when you were in your 20s, you got married and then had kids and there just wasn't any extra money to invest. If all that's happening and you're waiting until you, your kids are out of the house and then trying to invest, you can do it. <laughs> but yeah. it's you're going to have to invest 40, 50, 60 percent. Whereas if you start now, you can just invest your your little 10 percent if you want and let it grow over the course of your life. Uh, and it makes it really easy. It's a very simple uh, approach. Like you say, none of this, none of this day trading. I gotta watch, watch the stock picker all the time because my stocks are going down. I gotta, I gotta unload them before they get below my buying point. Yeah, which at that point, that comes back to like what we were talking about. We're trying to give you advice of how to eliminate financial stress. That exact example that Jr. used is exactly the opposite of what we want. We don't want you to be stressed and having to wake up and jump on there and find out what's going on on Wall Street. That's not what we're trying to do. Granted, as we had talked about before, we are a lot more conservative approach. It's going to be in the long haul. We're looking for your long-term future. We're not talking about you can go out and buy a sports car here in the next five years. Definitely not something that we would recommend. But granted, it's your money, so you can do what you need to with it. But as JR had mentioned, we're not certified financial advisors. We're very simply taking our experiences and trying to share that with young adults and kind of and even the older generations as well as i mean we're just trying to help the best that we can and kind of pass our knowledge forward because we're huge believers in what we experience can sometimes be the survival guide to other people's lives yeah we do believe in you guys and we hope the best for you and we want to help you every step of the way so definitely follow us on instagram add us as a friend on snapchat send us dms direct ask any questions that you have if you're needing some additional motivation along the way having some issues some kind of spending kind of digging at you definitely reach out to us we want to help as much as we can and give you some encouragement along the way so guys like jr said you can do this we believe in you and make sure to catch our first episode